Cruise cabins are notorious for being small and having a lack of storage space. And this cabin was absolutely no exception. We needed our cruise organization tips, hacks, and items on this cruise. I'm gonna share them all with you in this video. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am on the Oasis of the Seas. We're in a balcony cabin and I'm going to show you around the cabin, but more importantly, I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks and things that we did to really organize this cabin. Now, no matter what cruise ship you are on, I really think that you will be able to use these tips, these items to make your cabin space much more functional. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. So here's a quick look at our cabin. You can see the hanging towel animal right over there. That was from last night. But this is our balcony cabin. Now we're actually staying with three people. So we do actually have our son who's in that bunk. But let's get right into the cabin organization. Now the first thing that we'll look at is this closet. Now you can see um, the closet is really not very big. Um, it does have the two sides. I'll show that to you in a minute. But you'll see some of the shelving is just a little bit strange sort of so what we did, and this is my first organization tip, is that we did use some packing cubes that we were able to actually keep closed or partially closed that just made it a little bit easier in terms of packing and keeping organized. Now here's a quick tip. Do make sure that you do use the safe. Put your valuables in there. Put them in there right away as soon as you get on the cruise. Now some people say they even keep their medication in there. Obviously that's something valuable, so that's up to you. You may wanna do that. You do have a little bit of extra storage space for handbags or different things that you can keep, belts and things like that, and even a few things right in front of the safe if you like. Now something else you can do, especially if you're like me and you overpack a little bit, is you can use the top shelf for some shoes as well as the bottom shelf. And just a little tip on the Oasis of the Seas, there is an additional rack um, down here. We actually didn't use it. I just found it really too low to be able to hang anything there. Um, but that is uh, basically part of the closet. And I did ask for some extra hangers just to let you know. Now, right over here, as you come into the cabin, I did put some extra magnet hooks on my walls. These are honestly such a lifesaver. These two hooks come with the cabin, but otherwise there really is no other storage space. So we were able to keep our cruise lanyards um, right there with our cruise cards as we came in the cabin that helped us to really stay organized in this cruise cabin. These are some of our beach bags and just the bags we were able to bring either on shore excursions or even around the cruise ship when we did uh, go out. Just some bathing suits drying, my couple of cover-ups that I liked to wear on this cruise. Now you can see that these night tables are just really not great for storing anything at all. I don't know who thought of these, uh, but what my husband did is he used a packing cube to keep his underwear, socks, and pajamas. And this gray bag is just where we're keeping our laptop and other electronics next to the bed. Now under the bed, we are able to keep our luggage. So we have our suitcase, our garment bag, everything like that was able to fit under our bed. If it looks like it's not going to fit under your bed, just lift the bed a little bit because really I have a pretty big suitcase and it does fit. Now on Oasis of the Seas, your cabin walls are going to be metal. So magnet hooks, magnet clips, they're all going to stay and stick on the cabin wall. So you're going to have that extra storage space if you do bring any magnets and you'll have this as well on many other ships, many other cabins. If you don't have that, you might wanna bring uh, command strips. So that could be something as well or command hooks to hang up things on your cabin walls. Now what I did use, and you can see a couple of pages right on my cabin wall, is I did use my Ultimate Cruise Planner to basically keep organized during this cruise and to keep up a couple of things that I wanted to just make sure that I remembered just at a glance. Now if you are interested in the Ultimate Cruise Planner, this is a downloadable, printable, 47-page cruise planner that you can actually print out the pages that you need and as many cruises as you do go on. Now there's everything included in the cruise planner, 
from cruise packing lists for children, for men, for women, for Alaska, for Caribbean cruises, as well as shore excursions, a disembarkation checklist, embarkation checklist, and more. If you are interested in checking out the Ultimate Cruise Planner, I am gonna leave the information below this video in the description. Now, one of the favorite things that I brought, or I should say two favorite things that I brought on this cruise, one of them is this mesh laundry hamper and it folds up to next to nothing. You could bring it on your cruise, it will take no space at all. But this little spot was a really good spot to keep our dirty laundry. And this is actually just from the dollar store, so it's not from Amazon, although I guess you could find it. But this little box I picked up um, on a dollar store, a haul a little while ago and this was so handy for our flip-flops so really really good pool shoes water shoes that kind of thing so here we have the desk area and i did use this shelf to keep my makeup bag we have our travel binoculars here just a few handy items um, that we needed things like that we'll keep um, a laptop up here different things and i'll just show you the drawer space by the way, something to mention is all the items that I am showing you in this video, I will uh, link them down below in the description as well. So here, our top um, drawer actually did include this uh, travel hair dryer came with the cabin, if you are wondering about that. And otherwise, I just put the things that I needed. So I have my hair appliances, um, curling iron, that kind of thing. I always bring a little scissor with me. I never know when I need it. Lint roller. So all of that is in this drawer. Now, moving on, we've got a couple of other drawers. I'm using the packing cubes again, just to kind of help to keep things organized. And, um, you know, another drawer as well for my son, because as I mentioned, we are three people. Now, over here, we have our fridge and you are going to laugh. Well, there we go. We have some chocolate covered strawberries left and some drinks. But we actually joked around and said, wow, I think this could be used for some storage space and considered keeping my son's pants in here. We didn't. Now this coffee table that you see right over here was originally just in the middle of this space, but because this couch um, turns into a bed at nighttime, we just felt that that was sort of in the way. So we kept it tucked over here. My son keeps one of his school bags, um, I guess his backpack over here, the garbage stays under there. And I will show you the space here. You do have a little bit of space um, just next to the mirror. So we have a few items that we keep really sort of a vanity area right over here. There's also this little teeny cupboard space. Let me just show you. It's so tiny though that it just really didn't seem useful. Okay, let's head right into the bathroom. And thank you for following along with me. But let me show you around in the bathroom. Ah, there are some hooks right on the bathroom door. Those come with the cabin, so that's good. We did request uh, some robes, so those are hanging over here. Now let me show you just quickly into the shower. Um, in the Oasis of the Seas, there's hair and body wash combination. I definitely do not like this. So I did bring my own shampoo and conditioner. You have a little bit of shelving right over here. So we definitely did take a few items out of our hanging toiletry bag to keep them handy. Something we did use this cruise um, are these toothbrush covers. Of course, we've got our poopery over here. Now, let me show you how tiny this space is. This was crazy. Really, really too tiny to even be useful. So we just, here, look, when that's closed, there's no space. <laughs> and you can see that this is a sink, but the shelf is really, really tiny. So what I did use is, um, the hanging toiletry bag that I usually use. I'll see if I can find a better shot to put in here. And as well, just um, in case anybody doesn't know what this is, this is a towel wrap for hair. Ladies, if you have long hair, I brought this on this cruise. Very helpful, especially that sometimes with the humidity, hair does take a long time to dry. This has been really helpful. And over here, this is another toiletry bag. This is the one my son is using. I actually did have that hanging as well, but just didn't want it to look as messy. So I kind of tucked it away. 
Well, I think that that is it for the items that we used to organize our cruise cabin. Please let me know if you've used any of these items. If there are other things that you would recommend, please let me know down in the comments below. Now I will leave that information about the ultimate cruise planner down in the description below, as well as all of the items that I have used that I mentioned in this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.